I spent some time wallowing in the comments I found down there, ladies and gentlemen. Real words written by real people that I present to you now, ladies and gentlemen, in the form of something that I like to call a found poem that I would like to perform for you now. Why is this a story? I'd understand why this was a story if she was still your queen. But Kate's in the chair now. <laughs> so why not let Grandma enjoy her old age and move on? I don't know where to start with that comment. I do. It's not a chair, it's a throne. <laughs> I feel sorry for the Queen in this situation. Imagine having to read all these headlines about something you did when you were seven. When I was seven, I killed a rabbit. in the papers, is it? <laughs> what do all those being outraged want the Queen to do exactly? Invent a time machine so she can go back and unsalute Hitler? <laughs> if someone can invent a time machine, they can think of something better to do to Hitler than unsalute him. <laughs> it is quite clear to me that the young Queen was just waving. She is a wonderful woman, a wonderful, waving woman. <laughs> it is well known that the royal family still open their Christmas presents on Christmas Eve. This is a German tradition. <laughs> it's time they stop pretending to be otherwise. The royals have weird waves. That much is a fact. But this wave has never been one of them. You can't judge that family by today's standards. It was 1933, for crying out loud. Nobody knew that she would go on to be queen. <laughs> in fairness to the royal family, it was wise to learn the salute, just in case we lost. <laughs> Apparently, an expert lip reader says it's not a salute. How would she know? You don't talk with your hands. <laughs> Italians talk with their hands. <laughs> yes, and look who they sided with in the war. <laughs> this is such nonsense. Leave them alone. Which family hasn't done that salute in fun? <laughs> Hang on. You killed a rabbit. <laughs> I thank you.